Today we're talking about three reasons why you need to take action now. This is the Enjoy Life Podcast, here to help you choose your mindset, goals, and actions so that you can guide your life in the direction that you want it to go and enjoy it. It does take a little bit of work, some effort on your part, but that effort is worth it because this is your life and you can experience the benefits of the work that you do. And this podcast is here to help. Life doesn't magically turn out exactly how you want. It's up to you to make it happen. Now, you may not have chosen to be exactly where you're at right now in your current situation, but you will choose what you do about it. If you're ready to put forth a little bit of effort, take some small steps toward living the life that you want, then you're in the right place. Let's get started. Well, welcome to episode 128 of Enjoy Life. I'm glad that you're here and joining in on this episode. You know, and hopefully we can provide some value to you. Uh, I'm excited about it. We're talking about you know why you have to take an action now. You know why not to delay. Uh, and I think it's just a it's a great lesson as well as a habit to get into. And so we'll explore three areas that can help you to to move forward and make some progress and, and maybe push you a little bit. Uh, I won't try to push you too hard, but I'm going to try to push you a little bit. Before we dive into that, I just want to remind you, you can always go to nickmazy.com. You know, you can find uh, past episodes and show notes. There's some resources on everything from creating those life targets to make, taking action to choosing your mindset, uh, reducing stress. A lot of things just related to being able to choose which direction you're taking your life and to be able to make the most of it and enjoy it. That's what all my material is geared toward. Uh, so you can find more of it at nickmazy.com. And also connect with me on Instagram. Uh, I'll just try to share positive, encouraging stuff there as well. You can get to know me a little bit more. Uh, you can shoot me a DM to say hi. Or tell me something that you're working on or something that, that you'd like to hear about more in this, these podcast episodes. I'd really love to hear from you. So connect with me there. And so with that, let's go ahead and dive into today's episode. So for today's episode, I want you to think about this quote. It's, you know, something that you know, my uncle told me a long time ago. Uh, when I was just asking him for some advice and guidance, and, you know, he, he told me, you know, that uh, inaction is fatal. And so, while we're going to explore this, you know, the re reasons why you need to take action now, and I just, just let that quote, let those words sink in for a moment. Inaction is fatal. And when he, when he said that to me, it was kind of just, you know, it kind of hit me pretty hard. Um, and so, and today we're talking about taking action. You know, why you need to take action now. Those are uh, the real basic you know first thing i want to point out is that the only time you can act is now the only time you can take any action is in the present moment you know tomorrow you know if you say well i'm going to put it off to tomorrow well when tomorrow comes you'll be taking action now like in that present moment it'll it'll then it'll be now and you're going to have to take action then and you got to act in the moment you got to take action in that moment regardless on how you feel and i'm going to go ahead and tell you you're probably not going to have some magical surge of motivation if you wait till tomorrow. You know, when, when tomorrow, if I lay on the couch for a day, I, all of a sudden I'm not going to have all this motivation uh, if I just wait. In fact, motivation won't find you on the couch. Motivation is not going to just hit you when, when you're sitting around doing nothing. It doesn't. You know, when, when was the last time you settled in to binge watch uh, you know, one of your favorite TV shows and then all of a sudden decided to turn it off right in the middle of a great episode so that you could jump up and go exercise. I don't know. It's never happened to me. You know, when I'm settling in, I'm getting comfortable doing what I'm doing. It's, it's not like motivation just strikes. It, it doesn't just hit you. So don't wait for it to happen. You know, you need to take action now, you know, because, because you don't need motivation to start. You don't. All you have to do is start. And there's a, a really neat thing about motivation too, is, is that, it's not going to. It's not going to find you on the couch. But once you do start, once you say, "I don't need that motivation. I can get going. I can take action. I can start." Once you do that and you start moving forward, then a lot of times motivation shows up because motivation shows up after you do. It shows up after you do. They said, "You're not going to find that motivation by doing nothing. It's by taking action now. You know, starting. You because know, inaction is fatal. So if you go ahead and just start." then a lot of times that motivation will find you after you start. But it's not going to find you if you're sitting still doing nothing. Uh, you know, you might have you know an idea. Yeah, that'd be great to get up and get some exercise right as you go ahead and, and get nice and comfortable on that couch. It's not going to work. You got to take action. You got to take action. You got to take action now. Well, 
what if what if now isn't the best time? Oh, okay. You know, now might not be the perfect time. Uh, in fact, there isn't a perfect time to do just about anything. There's no perfect time. And as the saying goes, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is today. You know, so go for the second best time to take action. Yeah, it's not going to be perfect. But if you go ahead and start now, then you can start moving forward. And looking back, looking back, you'll probably wish that you would have done something. If you choose to wait until timing is perfect, then tomorrow, next week, next month, next year, you're going to end up looking back like, man, I could have just started then. I'd be so much further ahead. Because the timing won't be perfect, but by just taking action, you're going to move forward. Nothing's ever going to be perfect. You know, you don't, you don't need to be remotely close to perfect in order to be great. Because see, after you start, you can start to refine, you can start to improve, you can adjust. You can do all those things that can only happen after you take some action. You know, after you start and you start moving forward, then you can make those adjustments and get better and better and better. Even if the timing wasn't perfect. You might, you might just be able to learn things that you could only learn by taking action. So when the timing's not, not the best, that's fine. Don't let that stop you. In fact, every time I, I talk about perfect timing, you know, I just have this thought of, of me trying to time the stock market and trying to hit exactly when you know, they're going up and going down and selling and buying at just the right time. Uh, well, I'm not, you know, an expert trader, and so maybe some people that you know are expert traders, uh, you know, can predict the future and and know exactly when to buy and sell, and, and all that's perfect. But what I'm reminded of when I think about trying to do perfect timing for the stock market is I'm reminded of uh, John Bogle. You know, he's one that started Vanguard, and he wrote this book, and it's called the Little Book of Common Sense Investing. And and whenever I think about trying to time it and get it just right, I think about some of the things that he wrote in that book. And what he was saying in that book is that by just getting in, being consistent, not getting in and getting out, getting out and trying to time it just perfect, but by getting in and being consistent and doing you know, in a very passive way, investing for the very long term, you know, that's where he's shown a lot of his success. And that's what I try to follow for, for my own you know, investing. And so but this, I know it's not an investing in a, in a money podcast, but I want you to think about a, a similar action to whatever your goal is. As opposed to trying to just time it just right and to hit it just exactly when you need to, if you just start, if you just get in it, and if you're just consistent and very consistent with what you do, and you, it might be just those small consistent steps that you're taking that you just start and you keep on doing, then you're going to make a lot more progress than if you try to time it just right. And one of these ways, one of the ways that it shows up for me, it, it one of my goals is, is you know, I want to be healthy, you know, and have plenty of energy for 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 my family. Well, you know, I have twin little girls, so that's a ton of energy that I need to have. So I got to make sure that I'm doing stuff for my health. Well, one of the things that I do is I go for go for a run, you know, I I I go jog around the neighborhood. Well, a lot of times the timing's not perfect. You know, I got to sneak it in at at a, at a lunch break. And right now I'm I'm working from home a lot so I can just get out and run really quick. A lot of times the weather's terrible. It's either you know in the middle of the day where it's stinking hot and humid right now or it's pouring down rain. Or there's a ton of reasons why the timing's not right or I'm not motivated. But the fact of the matter is, is that all that stuff, the timing, my motivation, if I feel like doing it, it doesn't really matter. If I just do it, if I just do it, if I take those consistent steps, then it, all of a sudden it builds up over time and I'm getting in better shape and I'm feeling better. I'm having more energy because I took action in the moment. That's all that mattered. The timing didn't matter. Like I said, my feelings of motivation or anything like that didn't matter. As long as I do it. And what's really cool is that when you take action in the moment, when you take action now, the third thing, the third reason why it's so important to do is that when you do that and you do that consistently, you create the habit. So if you like it or not, you're creating habits right now. Right now, you're creating habits. If it's listening to a podcast like this where you got some guy that's going to try to encourage you to take steps towards your goals or, or help you to pursue the life that you want or try to be a little encouraging. You know, I, I, hopefully I'm that stuff for you. Uh, but if you're listening to this and you're developing the habit of, hey, I'm going to listen to some positive material and I'm going to take action on it, then you're developing that habit. You know, or we talked about earlier, you know, it might be developing that habit of laying on the couch and, and binge watching TV. 
or you're developing the habit of taking steps towards your health, or you're developing the habit of taking steps toward whatever goal that you have, or a little bit of improvement, you know, being the best that you can be. Whatever it is, whatever actions you're taking or not taking, you're developing the habit of them. So make sure that you're developing the habit of taking action, developing the habit of pursuing the life that you want. Because they might be those, it might just be tiny little steps, tiny little actions. Don't discredit them. Don't discredit the power of consistent steps. You know, they might be tiny, but don't discredit the power of them because over time they do build up. That's why taking action now and just sticking with it is so crucial because they build up over time and then you have those habits and whatever habit you choose to develop, be it positive or negative, whatever habit you choose to develop, it's going to make doing it easier. So if it's a little bit difficult for you now to take steps towards your health, okay, that, 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 that's understandable. Start, start small and keep at it because it's going to make it easier. If you want it to be easier, then you know, just develop the habit. You don't have to start with these large leaps. Small steps are easier. Small steps are easier to maintain. They're easier to start. So just start with small steps and keep at it because it will build up over time. And before you know it, you'll be closer to the goal than you ever imagined. And you'll have the habit to keep going. And that will make it even easier. The starting's the hardest part. But you can do it. I promise you, you can do it. Just start, start now. And then you don't even have to worry about starting because you'll already have started. Take at least one small step towards your goal today. You can do it. I promise you. And if you want some, some more positive, encouraging material, so you, connect, can, you can connect with me on Instagram. It's just at Nick Maisie. Uh, or you can find uh, some more stuff at the website, nickmaisie.com. Thank you for joining in. Please take some steps towards your goal. Whatever is important to you in your life and, and living the life that you want, the world needs more people taking positive actions, to, you know, being intentional, and, and just taking control of their lives so that so their lives can be more how they want it to be, so that your life can be more how you want it to be. you got to do the work. You can do the work. Uh, and, and the world can be a better place because of, because of it. And you've made it all the way to the end of the episode, so you must have found some value. And uh, it would be a huge, huge benefit to this podcast, as well as I'd appreciate it. If you'd go rate and review the podcast wherever you listen to podcasts or, you know, especially on iTunes, it's a big help. Uh, just take a moment, rate and review the podcast. More people can find it. Uh, hopefully we can provide more value. And uh, thanks for doing that. All right, take care.